Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. We last left off, uh, stuff. Doing stuff. And you've actually got decent gold. So a market here for you would be pretty good. Stable wouldn't kill you. Let us go stable the market. You're going to be busy building other things, so... Just do that. Get my military up and running... Then hope that I can range the heck out of them. I don't think the friendship is still going. No, and it's gonna happen. Ooh. Um, and you, since you're a promoted unit as well, I am definitely going to accept you. E, they've got musket men. Part of me should pr is thinking maybe I should grab gunpowder. Yeah, we're gonna go up to chemistry. I think that's a better idea. Go up to chemistry first, then grab scientific theory. Okay, uh, build me the fort. That, build me the farm. Spy has been recruited. If he can handle it, I'll just have him handle it. See, so these bonuses change. You got a nice boost there. Three things of coal discovered, which is awesome. How long do you have? You have three turns. Okay, you can finish that up. So we got three coal, three coal. Oh. That actually works out pretty dang well. And how much coal is this? Seven. Okay, perfect. And seven coal right outside the city as well. I probably should make more workers. I make that a focus after my military. Uh, we got more important things for you guys to build. So you guys come on down. So save up the money for my military and to just rush by factories. I can get freedom super quick. I can get a bunch of policies and freedom super quick. Okay, um, I'm going to want... I've got more units spawning over there, so for now you can just come here. Okay, yeah, you should be able to handle this. And you get no... You get no defense bonuses? So, I don't think... Yeah, there's no negative for being here. So we'll just put you there. Ten turns until border growth. Well, I should have it fine. I got this one, which should, which is going to end first because we've already started chopping it. So, And let's get out of its range.
Okay, that said 10 turns. But I can start shopping it now. And that should take longer than 10 turns. So I'll get the max amount of production out of it. So this is sufficient defense for this city, but not sufficient defense for this city. So I actually might want to consider now, because this is the only place that I can really do a whole heck of a lot. Yeah, it's grassland. They've denounced Japan, so Japan would hate me. And Japan's super weak. So yeah, I'll take that. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure I should be able to finish this off. Okay, nice amount of cash. You can come on over here. Why is there a road being built here? That's a little weird. We have the lead in that, which is great. Um, so you're going to be done. Wow, so I got two techs faster than I could finish building that a single unit, which is kind of scary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, because all the production should remain. Then I no longer need iron. Oh, I'm not doing anything with my spy. You know, let's just have him run defense. Because I am like second place in tech. Not with you two. How am I in military? I'm in last, dead last place. Cannot steal from the Zulus. Well, that makes sense. But I probably can't steal from anybody at this point. So what I'm going to do... Yeah, because I'm first place in tech. And I'm going to keep on rising. Uh, are people that I want to stay allies with that I don't want to spend money with. I don't really care too much about the faith, in all honesty. I am getting ivory from them, though. And I don't need the furs, so we are going to go to Wittenberg. You heal. No! Nice. Kill that spy. Yeah, you level up my spy, so it's okay. Tee hee hee. Okay, now that we've done that, and it's working on musket men. I no longer have to worry about the iron. Um, how much to upgrade? Well, not too bad. So you can sum up to... Yeah, it only gives them three additional strength, actually, which is really interesting. I mean, it makes sense, because muskets are terrible weapons. But yeah, let's get these both boosted up. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna put you in here because we'll save a couple gold per turn. Everywhere they can have someone. Maybe one should probably do that. I forgive you because I'm going to crush you. Now, here's the question. Should I actually go down honor? No, no, I really shouldn't. Not yet. But I think what I want to do is I want to get... So it'll be like six in freedom. Oh, there's a road there. I was like, why can't you move there but not anywhere else? Oh, okay. That is fine. We'll get the extra boost from the mines here for the extra production, which is great. Uh, we'll go up to scientific theory. Although I would like Grandiburg and the extra growth to do something like that. Dynamite would be excellent. Then radio, replaceable parts, railroad. I really should probably boost my science as much as possible so that I make it easier for me to do this. Okay, let's do a little improvement here. Oh, you've got seven coal outside your borders too. Hot dang. Maybe one turn away from that. Weird. So let's see, we are 15 turns away. And they're going to cost like 24, so I definitely need more cash. But I should be getting a decent, decent amount by then. Oh, next to move. Perfect. So you'll just be one turn behind them. <laughs> Whoa, look at you stealing from Valletta. Now that you guys want trade routes. I do want the cash. And I'm going to want that. Yeah, we want to stay allies. Aha! Uh -huh. I definitely want to stay allies with you guys. So I'm definitely throwing more cash your way than I probably should. Um, market windmill. Three up there, I get the two over here, and whatever's left will come over here. Because I kind of have this area on lockdown. Wow! Way to go, dude.
We'll play the forgiveness game, even though I don't really care about Japan. Because, hey, I'm getting level... I mean, like, my spy I just got is already level 3. I'm, like, totally cool with that. See, what's the best trade route? Gal. What are you doing on people, by the way? Max this out, which is good, and you're working useless tiles. Make sure that I've locked all of the ones that I want. Yeah. Oh, you got kicked out. Oh, I'm currently training from here. What the heck? Um, I guess I could help out you a little bit more. So this will also give me more production, which is actually somewhat nice. Keep going. This gives me plus one production. Once I get fertilized, it'll give me plus one food. Yeah, this is better. I don't want to leave this tile unattended because if they declare war, they'll just immediately swoop it up. Uh-huh. Yeah, so much for forgiving you. Sorry, yeah, no, I'd love to declare war on someone eventually, but not right now. with city-states. If I can definitely get a couple cannons going, I'd probably be able to do pretty dang well. Especially if I could upgrade all my guys. So the question is, do I want to upgrade all my guys, or do I want to go the economic route? And I'm, I always go economic, so we're going economic. Which is get freedom, get all of that stuff going, things going great. I, I'll be able to get the uh, specialists don't eat as much food, so my cities will start growing up. I'll get more production that way. I would need to save my cash. So after after that happens, then I can definitely start focusing on war. And I've got the culture to, and already have the policies to make that a possibility. Uh, the wonders also help. What was the other thing proposed? World's Fair. Bummer. I mean, I'll definitely have enough production for it. And it will help me with some culture and stuff, but still. Ugh, bummer. They're going to take this. Probably. Let's see what happens. Ah, wow. 
Oh my gosh, the barbarians took this and they, these guys took the encampment. Really? My city converted? What? Ah, oh, that's, they got a lot of pressure coming up here, so I need to wipe that religion out. More or less. You shouldn't be here because you'll probably get destroyed. Yeah, 7 versus 20. I don't think so. Yeah, we'll definitely get a great profit eventually, but for right now, I want to save my faith. I'm actually getting culture from it too, which isn't terrible. I'd rather go for the growth, thank you very much. And yeah, we'll start building a road. Probably should bring a unit over who should be able to farm some XP, which is this trebuchet, which I probably should go ahead and upgrade to a cannon. It's 400 gold. Ah, uh, the pain, but I would like at least a cannon. That makes it significantly more powerful, too. That was my military, by the way. I'm now sixth place in soldiers. Actually, something to consider, now that I think about it, is adopting aesthetics. I get a 25% increase on great artists. I'll get a 25% increase from this no matter what. I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, it will start this now. 13 turns, and I'll probably have the factories up after that. So it's fine. The initial three policies are the biggest ones in freedom. Or the the biggest three are the initial three. You get the twenty five percent faster, uh, great people, which is awesome given that I have uh, some additional things. You come there, you just heal. If they decide to attack you, they decide to attack you. No. Oh. I'll just range you. Do I get XP for this? No, because I'm fighting against barbarians. But I don't even want to bother capturing you. I just want to kill you. It's another seven coal. Sorry, Wittenberg. You just have such sloppy border growth. I probably should build the bank here. Oh! Well, I know where I'm keeping my cannon now. It's actually not a terrible city location either, but it's not where I want to, I'd want to put it. So you you heal up another turn. You finished it before they declared war. Nice. Um, you guys are all good. Mr. Cannon will just come over here. Um. Yeah. And we'll just wait for him to kill these things off. Or get them low enough to where I can take it out. Since I don't think he has... He does have some in Liberty, so he does have some culture. 
Okay, you spawn there. And then you come here. And why don't we go ahead and get you over there. And yeah, you just finish this off and you come back down here. I guess I could take get off a shot. Sure, we'll be friendly. Um, it's definitely time for me to cut this video off. So, thank you all much for watching, and God bless.